the Portuguese uh, authorities on the island uh, pack and left. The international community decided not to do anything at all. The United Nations had a chance between August 75 and December 75, or even before. If the United Nations, if the Secretary General at the time, Mr. Kurt Valdain, and others around him, uh, when the Portuguese uh, colonial regime was toppled, and uh, had they had wisdom and uh, uh, a sense of uh, commitment and uh, immediately offered to assist in Timor-Leste, maybe the Indonesian invasion could have been prevented. For three months, we tried to mobilize international support. It didn't come. December 7, 1975, Indonesia invaded. Four days before, three days before, actually, I was uh, told to leave the country by my compatriots in the leadership. And I did the journey towards New York. So I arrived in New York already after the invasion to address the UN Security Council. The Security Council adopted a unanimous resolution condemning the invasion, calling on Indonesia to withdraw its troops from East Timor without delay. It was a unanimous resolution, which was in itself a feat, a diplomatic feat for us. And I thought, with that uh, resounding victory in the UN Security Council, Indonesia, a respectable member of the international community, would comply with it and would leave Timor-Leste and I would return in diplomatic triumph. Well, that didn't happen. That was my first lesson in organized international hypocrisy. The same members of the Security Council that voted on that resolution also ignore that resolution and continue on business with Indonesia for the next 24 years. So I had to wait 24 years before I finally returned.